Okay. Well, that's on. We're going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to put on the new... Um, the new... Uh, pad and tongue and all that. I'm going to put this on with the camera so you guys can see how messy it is and all that. I don't know. We'll see. What you see is what you get. Huh. <laughs> okay, here we go. I removed this guy. Uh, I'm anxious to see this test because I have more room on this new uh, fireman's deck than I did. So we'll see. Oh heck, I didn't put the I didn't put the insert in that one yet. All right, we'll see. Let's see how it fits. I'll probably have to do some grinding anyway. Oh, I do anyway because I want to flatten this edge out. So when I go over to grind it, I'll put you on pause or something like that. I gotta cut that notch in. Oh geez, yeah, I got a few things. So this isn't gonna last. I'll do a test fit for the holes and then I'll pause it. If I remember, I think it's the square one pauses it. I don't remember. Oh, I only put one screw down. Okay. I have the other one. These are number twos, by the way. Number two button head. Uh, 256, I guess you could say. Oh, i got to help it out. So it's a little loose thread. Just needs a little help. A little help from my friend. Come on. I got these lights on, but they don't help me very much. There we go. Alright, let's just do a test fit, see what we got. Um, that fits fine. That, oh, it hits long. Oh, the holes are perfect, but it's too far forward. Do you see this? Maybe you can't. But it's interfering with the motor. I'm going to have to print a new one, that's okay. I'm about probably one and a half. Let's see. <coughs> Dang it. Well, I estimated that's so, all. Okay. Uh, no, it's not three. It's one and yeah, it's one and a half. But I'll tell you what, I'll back it out two. I'm gonna put it two more that way so it tucks up nice on that. Oh uh, boy, yeah, the holes are now way off. Oh, I gotta cut the notch and move the holes. Okay, well I'm gonna def define what I need to do to this part right here right now because those back holes are perfect. Um, the holes are off roughly center to center about two about two okay uh, usually I try to make a note so I got to move um, I got to move this plate back minus two millimeters I got to move the holes back minus two millimeters and I need to cut a notch in this back plate how wide does that notch need to be um, well you can see from here which if that came straight down it would have to be at least two and a half I'm gonna cut two and a half two and a half in 2.5 millimeters and how wide it's got to clear that piece and that piece is uh, 16 so I'll make it 16 and a quarter Give me a little extra. Plastic has a tendency to change shape when it's printed, so you don't get deadly accurate. That's why you usually get two or three <laughs> uh, versions or reps uh, before you get it. But I think flattening this out, how much did we say we needed? Oh, heck. Let's see if I can just stick it in there like and take a peek. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. It's about, looking at it here, it's about two maybe two and a half not three I wonder if I took two and a half of that work I wonder if that'll thread in there just that way I don't know it's there's some thread in there with it. let's see if I can hold it still yeah it's not gonna start oh there it did it just did I wouldn't hold it square okay good it is a, it's a square thread oh I love it okay now I'll just get that in snug, not have to be tight, tight, tight. Hold this up. Uh, I better put a screw in. It won't stay. Uh, man, those little screws roll. Where'd it roll to? I don't know. Oh, there, it's right in front of me. Okay, good. 
Here's where you need tweezers. Old man hands. Thick, fat, can't bend. That's terrible. Okay, we got it. Tighten it up just a skosh. Okay, get the magnet off of there. I got a motor magnet over here that's causing trouble. Okay, now let's turn this off and take a peek at it. Height wise, we're on the. Oh, wow. Okay, if it pushes back, there you can see. If it pushes back, what's causing that? Oh, it's up at the, it's, oh, it's riding up and getting closer. Okay, when I push back, it goes up. It's just out of a gun. If I pull forward, there's a big gap. Damn it. Uh, let's see. So going forward, you only need about one and a half. But if you're pushing back, pushing back, stay. Pushing back, you're going to need almost four. Damn it. Well, I'll make a deal. I'll put two on this and cut this one four. What do you think of that? Right. Uh, I'll cut this one four and I'll put two on this. That will give us a flat plate like this overlap. But they're going to be far enough away that they won't do forward and back. will just go like that. But it won't pull out, and then when you rotate, it'll still be there, I think. No, that's not. Here, here, it's this one. Okay. So if it rotates here, just use, just pretend that's a flat plate. That's all you need to do. Pretend that's a flat plate. And it's pivoting here, and he's pivoting here. And they're going to pivot like that. Push that in. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Um, what was I going to do now? Ah, more paper, okay. We're going to cut him back. Four did I say? Oh, God, I hate that. And we're going to give him two. On the tender and on the uh, deck. Is that what I said? Four and two. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a four. It's definitely four. Okay, four and two. Okay, four and two. Got it. So he'll go out two and he'll come in four. And those are the mods for this CAD file. Okay, so I'm done with the, this stuff. Now I gotta go over to my other machine. It's not even turned on. And I'll turn it on and move and see if I can get the camera over there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, watch out. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, I think I'll just pause it and see what I can do. <laughs>